Hello, hello, and yeah, it's been a while since I've touched Barrel Zoo, and that is probably because I've been working on some other projects, as well as I haven't really been feeling too much of the zoo for a while now, and I'll be touching on that later on in the video. So recently, mods have really exploded within the Planet Zoo community, ever since the thylacine came out and there have been really amazing stuff that have come out so far and uh, if you guys remember correctly from my children's zoo barrel zoo episode you would have remembered me mentioning that if there were to ever be like a petting zoo pack I would put the animals in there but uh, so far we, we don't have anything like that but the wonderful modders have released a bunch of different petting zoo farm domesticated animals that I have introduced into the petting zoo area in the zoo and I think they're just incredible so so if you notice right now I am working on an alpaca habitat and it's nothing too special just something that would fit well and I just really wanted to go for that real petting zoo vibe nothing over the top just standard box kind of thing that is really basic for for the alpacas to be comfortable inside so and I think it really fit well the, with the rest of the area being not so uh, out there so yeah I didn't really capture too much footage of this so we're gonna be jumping into the live portion in a short while so catch you there okie dokie so let's take a look at our new inhabitants so uh this is the children's section by the way of the zoo which is kind of like the petting zoo section and I highly recommend you check out the episode that will pop up right now on your screen if you want to see a full tour of this area as well as the indoor play section slash restaurants area so over here we got the Somali wild ass and it's basically a donkey kind of because I think ass is another name for donkey but uh, this was done by J2Bex and it was ported in by Leaf Productions and <laughs> just it's just amazing the quality of the fur and the skin and every it just it, it just looks amazing and I think they use the uh the zebra model for it and it's it's just absolutely incredible so yeah we got our donkey over there and then next up we got the uh what's this one called we got the alpine goat over here and this is done by leaf productions and they are also top quality as well i really really love how they look and uh yeah next up oh got a stinker over there so next up we got the large white pigs and also done by leaf productions and i have to say top quality stuff from him so far love all of his animals so uh well yeah let's so take a look at them in their little enclosures and uh i haven't really decked out too much of their uh enclosures so it may look a bit uh bare bones and uh tragic but i'll fix that later on and uh yeah if we look on to our right over here we got some sheep so this one over here is the merino sheep and uh they are also absolutely incredible i really love the horns on this the male one over here and uh, yeah just the fur is just absolutely amazing and the way they were able to use the fur shader to their advantage with this one is incredible and especially with the kind of ruffleness ooh, the ruffleness of the fur in in which is not looking totally clean and i just think that adds an extra bit of detail before I forget, this was done by Guerrero Pizza on the Nexus mod, so uh, links will be of course in the description for all the modern animals we have here so far. Uh, so yeah, up next we've got the, uh, the oh, you're hiding in there. We got the Saflock Sheep by Leaf Productions and they are also top notch quality, same as all the other animals we've seen from him so far. Just amazing, amazing stuff so far and uh yeah if we head out over here and take a look in here we got ourselves somewhere if i can find them else we'll just have to hop the fence uh we got ourselves the uh follow deer so let's see if we can find them because obviously in real life they're shy oh oh 
not so shy right now but yeah uh this is the follow dear by leaf productions and it's amazing and uh yeah that's all oh oh what's going let's just pretend we didn't see that <laughs> anyways the follow dare is as his name is, is just really amazing in which i really love the antlers the the sculpting of the antlers is really awesome on this one before i forget these little guys we got these chickens which are the rhode island chickens over here of course again by leaf productions and they are just absolutely <laughs> just derpy and <laughs> incredible looking in which they look actually believable even though they use like the the p-file uh model but yeah just incredible incredible work leaf you're just absolutely amazing with these uh mods over here so up next we got our most recent addition to the zoo which are the alpacas and obviously these are a really famous petting zoo animal and uh they also absolutely incredible and they're made by nicholas a lion rider i just really 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 love them and like i said i didn't really make their habitat too over top just something sustainable for them and the zoo that they would be comfortable in and uh and yeah so we're on to this part of the video so for the longest time i haven't really been too sure about the future of the zoo and uh that's kind of caused like in the middle of last year i was really going hard a lot into the zoo and uh after a while it kind of just just dropped off and, and at some point specifically when i kind of sort of started on with the africa area the quality of the build started to drop off a little bit especially with the africa area and i wasn't as much as it was amazing and incredible and i appreciate all you guys's uh, feedback on it personally i felt like i could have done something better and i felt like it was a bit rushed and uh Last year, obviously, I sent out a post in Burnation that I deleted everything. But so far, I haven't really gotten into building much with this area over here. And the layout started getting all crazy and stuff. And it was less planned out. Because I feel like um, from this area over here, like all the way here with the dome and everything, in this children's zoo area i feel like that's where i really planned out everything and i'm really satisfied with that but well not too satisfied with this area but uh i'm pretty satisfied with this area so far but then if we go on to like the africa section i'm not too satisfied with it and because of that it felt way more chaotic and i didn't know what to do from there because i had this crazy layout and no plan ahead whatsoever i know in the last big big tour i did around the whole zoo i said that i had really big plans for australia area and really big expansions and stuff like that but um when i actually went into the zoo to actually start doing something it just it just didn't really feel right it, it didn't it felt it felt less planned out and more like i was just getting stuff out for the sake of getting stuff out uh so i just scrapped that but it's not all bad news though because we have some light at the end of the tunnel so recently i got an amazing fellow creator to kind of sort of help out with the whole zoo so they're gonna be hopping in to do some stuff on their own and do some crazy stuff and change up some stuff and i'm pretty excited to see what they come up with and hopefully having a second eye on the project doing some stuff might actually spark up some new imagination in me to push on with the building and do some different new exciting stuff so yeah that's pretty much it for the video really really happy with how this area turned out especially with all the new moderate animals i've put in it really just makes the whole place feel more, obviously more like a petting zoo with now that we have all the different animals in here and it just it's just amazing so so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh so uh don't forget to like subscribe see you later guys and until then bye for now